Good morning and welcome everybody to another Love Wins Live Forum. My name is Rana Kapili Bonifacio and I am the Editor-in-Chief of Inspirations.ph. Thank you again for joining me this morning. And we're going to be talking about how to have and how to prepare for a safe wedding. So the past weeks we've been doing, we've been talking to different suppliers and different couples who, um, who have already gotten married. But today is a little bit different because we decided to invite a medical expert who is also uh, part of the events and wedding industry. So she's very invested in um, all of us continuing to uh, celebrate our milestones and hashtag tuloy ang kasal. So if um, you're joining me this morning, I'd like to uh, welcome you, of course, and say that please do host a watch party and share this stream with your friends and family. If you know of somebody who is getting married, feel free to tag them or um, send this stream to them. And if you have questions, you're getting married or you're a supplier, meron kang tanong for our medical expert, tulad ng kailangan po ba talaga na naka-PPE ako pag mag ingress or mag egress please do comment your question so that we can ask our medical expert. Um, before we call in Dr. Anna, of course, I'd like to welcome my co-moderator, none other than Ms. Sharon Fabian of Themes and Motives. Yes, good morning, Rona. Um, happy first day of August. Tama ba August 1 ngayon? It is August 1. It's a long weekend. <laughs> yes, oo, di ba? And ang, ang haba na ng tinakbo natin, I believe we're now in our 10th, no? This tenth, is our 10th yeah. broadcast since we started last May. May. Oh, 10th broadcast and we're very happy that for the last uh, I think 11 weeks kasi nag break tayo ng one week right. uh, we've been part of kahit pa paano, we've been part of the journey of some couples who um, who have somewhat uh, parang na pause yung plans nila because of the pandemic and yeah. we're really happy to be able to be with them every weekend um, giving them tips, insights, and hopefully inspire them to and help them navigate through this very difficult time, no? Lalo na na parang na, na cut short yung wedding planning mo. So tama tama yung sinabi mo. This week it's it's very different because we will still talk about uh, preparing for your wedding, but ito from um from a medical expert who also happens to be part of the events industry because she has her own event styling business. Medyo intimidating, Rona, no? Kasi yung credentials niya, ang daming letters after yeah. her name. Oh, oh, <laughs> diba? So, um... So aside from a pulmonary expert, sa ICU siya na St. Luke's Medical Center sa Quezon City, she is also the owner of K-Flower. So uh, she also conducts yung mga seminar on event styling, not mm -hmm. just here in the in Metro Manila, but also in key cities uh, nationwide. Um, and um, she's from UP. Um and uh, she also hosts a lot of Hima UP webinars. So we hope that this morning um, our viewers uh, will be able to ask you my questions nila na um, they think only a medical practitioner yeah. will be able to, to answer. No? Uh, so if you have couples out there, uh, please do send in comment po your questions and para ma... We, Tamang tama we have uh, we have a doctor in the yeah. broadcast right now na will be able to help us uh, address your concerns. And then Rons, I will just to before we call in doctora, I'd like to congratulate you for the article in inspirations.ph. Yeah. Oh, so it's doing very well. Um, I think you released it yesterday late afternoon, no? Mm -hmm. uh, at ang ganda ng feedback uh this is about a proposal yes Tama ba? Yeah. Uh, it's a wedding proposal during lockdown. during lockdown so kung paano po nangyari yung proposal na yon it's a virtual pro actually dalawang challenge no uh it's a lockdown yes and ldr sila talaga long oh. distance relationship so paano niya so I guess the plan was to really come here, no, and propose, but inabot ng lockdown, inabot ng pandemic. So this how was 
oh, how was the group able to do this successfully? Punta po kayo sa inspirations.ph. Ayan, ayan ang story nila. Ayan, so, I'd like to shout out to Regina and um, Stephen Suiko. They shared our story with us. I chased them down when I saw this story because I felt na marami rin talaga siguro ang couples na not just their weddings yung naput on hold, but like them, um, their proposal was put on hold because of the pandemic. So this is proof na hindi lang po hashtag tuloy ang kasal, tuloy din po ang proposal. <laughs> tuloy yes, din kasi po love ang wins. <laughs> yes, kasi love wins. So um, again, you'll be able to read the story. It's very touching. no? And if you see towards the bottom, medyo nakakatawa because the... The engagement ring is not with the bride to be of course it is with the groom kasi nga LDR po sila no so yung money shot po na I got engaged and he put a ring on it ayan po um na kay groom po kasi nga magkahiwalay pa po sila wow. and they don't know when they're going to see each other so um if you are proposing to your girlfriend or you have just proposed and you want to share your story with us please do um, message us at the inspirations.ph Facebook uh, page or at the Themes and Motifs Facebook page and we'll get in touch with you so that we can announce your wonderful proposal to the world and we can share to everybody no, na hashtag love wins naman talaga. Wag, wag mag-alala ha. Y- yung proposal nyo doesn't have to be talagang grand or pa- wag ma-pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just share your proposal story because we'd really like to inspire others na uh, to show them that tuloy-tuloy uh, as much as yung mga weddings natin, we, we continue to have intimate weddings ever since yung um, ECQ natin. So we'd like to inspire the other uh, grooms to be out there um, na nag-iisip, boyfriend status pa lang siya, nag-iisip siya, is this a good time? Paano ko gagawin? Um... Kaya yung mga nag-propose during lockdown, please share your story so that you can inspire um, others to, to go on with their plans, di ba? Kasi hashtag love wins. Yes. And actually, this proposal itself, no, these photos that they took, after na yan ng proposal, and it was just manipulated na lang, um, of mm-hmm. course, after the proposal. That's why they have these, these great photos. So, ang galing, no? Couples are really getting creative of how they are continuing to celebrate their love. And we love seeing that. We love seeing how you are uh, also doing a pivot <laughs> when it comes yes. to your love story, when it comes to celebrating. Uh, wala po talaga makakapigil sa pagmamahala ninyo. And we're here to support you. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Also, um, now that uh, for those that nag- propose or inabot nag propose at inabutan ng lockdown uh, because this this is actually the start of our series na ano kasi yung, yung mga iba that we've been featuring these are the couples that have already have plans no na kompleto mm-hmm. yes. na paperwork nila and all and mag expire and you know they they decided to okay gawin na natin let's not postpone yeah. it until next year but there are couples who are just beginning to plan their wedding or thinking of ano na, start planning pero inabot ng pandemic so this is today is the start of <clears throat> new series natin on wedding planning in a pandemic and what a better way to start it um uh, na having a medical expert guide us na ano ba ang unang step diba? so ano yung medically safe way of preparing for your wedding so, tatawagin na namin ang aming yes. guest para ma- ma- makapagkwentuhan na tayo. I'd like to call in Doctora Anna York Bondo. Good morning, ah, Doctora. Good, good morning, Doctora. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Miss Rona, Miss Sharon, and uh, all of those planning to get married and sinusubaybayan po yung themes and motives. And mga fans ng themes and motives, isa ko doon. I'm very honored to join you. It's a joyful day. It's a joyful weekend. Ayan. Yes, yeah, so. Sabi ko, Doktora, medyo nakaka-intimidate ang aming guest kasi 
Ang daming alphabets next to your name, <laughs> diba? Anna York Bodok, MD. Yes. D-A-B-I-M. D-A-B-I-M. O, diba? <laughs> Nakakatakot pag, nakaka-intimidate pag ganun. Para expert na expert talaga. <laughs> Dati, ang daming letters. Ng But alphabet. I think this means she's the best person to throw all your questions at. <laughs> yes, oo. Kasi, aside from being a medical expert. I'm a pulmonary and critical care expert. So, talaga, Um, the, the letters, do, um, they're just the diplomat exams that I took. Uh, I'm really a pulmonologist and um, tama ho kayo, I'm also part of the wedding industry. I inherited a business from my mom. And mm-hmm. siguro para mawala ng tension about being a doctor, eh kailangan din naman natin ng creative outlet, di ba? So I run a, a floral distribution, wholesaling, importing, and distributing all over the Philippines. Ang galing. Oh, oh. And aside from that, uh, may psychology ka yes, doktora, I'm, no? Yes, yes, I'm a psychologist also. So I really want, ako mismo ang tumawag sa inyo because I wanted to assist and to give kahit konti lang back to the wedding and events industry na marami ding naitulong sa akin. Oh, oh. And yes, to. Oh, oh. Thank you everyone from the parents to the bride, the groom, and also the suppliers, na it's possible. It's possible. Oo, Doc, yun. Kasi syempre kami, uh, we're, we're going by the published uh, guidelines, yes. no? Now, kung tama ba ang aming interpretation as wedding suppliers or tama ba implementation, uh, of course, wala kami expertise to... To assess that, di ba? We, we will do our very best to comply, pero whether it's the tamang standard of doing it. So, tamang-tama because yun nga, nung nagkausap kami ni Dr. Ana, uh, yun, aside from being uh, a pulmonary specialist, ICU specialist, she has a background also in training in psychology, plus very close siya to the wedding and events industry. So, she, she knows exactly what... Um, what the suppliers are going through diba? and alam niya rin no as a as a um, as a soon to wed alam niya rin ano yung dina, dada, dinadaanan ng mga naudlot ang plan sila to celebrate so yon so do uunahin ko na so yung mga nanonood please uh send in your questions kung may tanong kayo pero doktora unahin ko na as yeah. yun nga una una sa lahat sabi mo Uh, okay mag-celebrate. Tama ba po? Uh, yes. Actually, the first question that you should ask yourself is, tutuloy mo ba yung kasal or hindi? Especially for those na naka-schedule na for 2020. Mm-hmm. And ako, I'll tell you, meron kaming pamangkin who's been a boyfriend and girlfriend for 10 years and their wedding was supposed to happen August 2020 sa Madrid pa. So, wow. um, Definitely, people have been waiting and planning for a very long time. So my answer to this, because the first thing that you have to do talaga is to commit. Diba? Na itutuloy yung kasal. My answer to this, and people have asked me, parents, and ano, uh, mga pinsan, mga personal, my answer is a big yes. Definitely mm-hmm. yes. And there are reasons for this. Number one talaga is mental health. Mm-hmm. And you cannot, of course, there is a pandemic. Of course, it's a national and worldwide emergency. But let's face it, a wedding is a personal emergency. <laughs> na so, important din, di ba? Yes. And that is your future. Asawa mo yan. You yes. can go through whatever. Kung may pandemic ba, may, kung ano mangyayari, at least may kadamay ka na. So my yes. answer talaga is kung dapat ituloy yung kasal, my answer is yes, definitely dapat ituloy ang kasal. And that's why we're here. It's to, once we have answered yes and nag-commit talaga tayo dyan sa tuloy ang kasal. And then let's find a way to do it in a joyful but medically safe manner for everyone. At dapat yeah. ituloy ang kasal because one of, I have two words, mental health. It mm-hmm. can also be very depressing to have planned everything and then hindi matutuloy. It can also be very sad to think about what's my future. I mean, am I going to wait until the end of this pandemic before, yeah. before I become a wife or before I become a husband? And of course, you know, there's also the mental health benefits na may kadamay ka na sa buhay. Of yes. course, you are probably engaged at this point, but a lot of us are very religious, may family values pa rin, di ba? Mm-hmm. And gusto natin para bang mailagay sa tahimik yung mga anak natin. 
And siguro, um, so that talagang kailangan may maganda namang mangyari. Di ba? Hindi naman puro sad. Correct. That's also my ano, that's my uh, ad- advocacy. Kung saan ka masaya, friend, gawin mo. Kasi yes. <laughs> napakarap. Pag tingin mo sa labas, there are so many reasons to frown today. So if there is something that I can do to be happy, to smile, to celebrate, go. Let's do it. So thank you, Doc. Uh, I, I really like that um, that point that you made. Na it's really about the mental health. And sometimes, like for us, no, uh, some I mean, Miss Sharon and I have been married for a couple of years. So sometimes we kind mm. of forget na, oh, ano, medyo, there, there, before you get married, there's a period of waiting, right? Na parang you can't put everything together and all of that. And then you're, from all the couples we've interviewed, they've all said, that when they went through, uh, you know, they really felt depressed when, when, um, when they were forced to, to recalibrate and think of how they're going to do their wedding. So if that if you um if that's something that you've gone through first, sobra pong normal na nalungkot po kayo. Um, valid po ang lahat ng feelings niyo. And this is why we have Doc Anna to share with us how you can um continue on and plan now your wedding. So we've been seeing weddings that have been happening actually since ECQ, no? And everybody syempre has is are wearing masks um even at the wedding. Uh ngayon kahapon ba yun na parang face shields ngayon is almost practically required, 'di ba? Parang the government said na you need a so face they, shield. Uh, they're, they're recommending uh, yes. although it's not yet a requirement. Pero um, doktora, ano ba yung ano ba ang benefit ng face shield um na nakikita mo? Uh, is it really helpful or sufficient na na mag, nag-mask ka lang tayo? Ang masasabi ko talaga, COVID, COVID is a respiratory um, infection which will spread throughout the body. So the main uh, way that one can really get COVID is lang hapin po talaga yung dalawa. It's either droplets. Droplets are a little bigger. Para silang raindrops but much smaller. And that mm-hmm. is the reason for the of distancing because of the heavy droplets na hulog siya six feet away. And then there's also the, the aerosols, which are the smaller um, dala ng hangin yan. And that's okay. why we wear masks to protect ourselves from both aerosols and droplets. So I would really suggest to everyone espe- kahit during the wedding is that everyone should wear a mask. At siguro, it's just nakainan na lang and maybe a few minutes after the picture taking. Um, the mask protection is actually 85%. Okay? Um, social distancing has a protection of 80%. Masks have a protection of 85%. And face shields have a uh, proven protection of between 70 to 80%. Hindi pa pinag-aralan yung pinag, pinagsama. Bye. If you do the social distancing, you do the masks, and if you would like to add a face shield, pwede mo namang ipadesign yung face yeah. shield then uh, you're you're in a very safe place. Kumbaya. I think even masks, um, I've been seeing uh, bridal gown and couture designers, they're preparing for their next show. And of course, kasama na po ang bridal masks sa kanilang mga fashion shows these days. But the question is, um, what kind of mask should you know, we require... To wear. Yes, and like, if your guests are coming, kunwari, para sure ka, no? Kung intimate wedding naman, pwede mong i-provide para sure ka na safe yung know, mask. So, Eto, okay. What, what are the kinds ano, of masks? Uh-huh. Sorry, go Eto, ahead, Doc. Sige. Um, there are actually three kinds of masks na umiikot uh, normally. Yung nakikita po natin ginagamit ng mga doktor, it's it's a cup-like shape, ano? And it's very tight around the face. Um, yun po ang tinitawag na N95. Mm-hmm. And uh, that is recommended po for um, doctors, nurses. You can do surgery using an N95, okay? And uh, mga frontliners talaga, like mga police and people who will really go into a close-in situation. Um, it's very tight. It's fitted to your face. Okay? So, ang ano, mahirap lang doon because of the tightness, mahirap siya talagang huminga yeah. and very confined ang dating niya. 
For the regular persons, I would recommend that for doctors and nurses and talagang yung mga total frontliners kasi mahirap talaga. Okay? For regular persons and just going to the grocery, um, going around, pwede na po yung surgical mask. Yun po yung blue and sometimes mm -hmm. the white. Um, that has a better protection. It has a wire dito sa nose area. You fit it over your face. And for your guests, I would say okay na si surgical mask. And then of course, kung talagang hirap and may problem talaga sa economics, then um, face masks are okay. Sana two layers man lamang. So, I no. suggest ko for the wedding, yes, maybe uh, an N95, uh, sorry, for the wedding, maybe a surgical mask and baka patungan mo ng konting drama na uh, meron, okay. may arte o like a face. Oh, so, so, Doc, it's okay. the beautiful mask. Oh, so, Pero it's the dress-up mask na tapos may surgical sa ilalim. Tama ba yun, I doktora? I would have to test kasi talagang hirap talagang huminga doon. So, but there are some masks, di ba? You can put the filter inside. Sorry, doc. So, you said you're wrong. The suppliers for most of everyone, okay na si, ano, surgical mask. Surgical, surgical mask. mask. Okay. Eh, doc, paano And yung then, mga... Marami pang protection yun. Doc, paano yung mga mask na... Yung may uh, may ano siya, yung isislip, may isislip kang filter. filter. Yeah. O yung carbon filter okay, na sinasabi. Okay naman yun. Okay. Basta oh, wag lang hospital setting. Yeah, uh, wag lang. Yung hospital setting talaga N95. Okay. Right, yeah. If All you right. have a makeup artist, ito lang ah, na medyo oh, yes, makeup artist. If someone who's really going to be in your face, like yes. a makeup artist, that person might suggest to use an N95. Both Kasi of Kasi magtatagal you. Kasi magtatagal sa harap ng mukha mo. Right, But right. But for most of the persons, like the waiter, the guest, the minister, disenting disenting na po yung surgical mask. And because there's going to be social distancing involved anyway, right? I mean, there's that oh, other added layer of, of safety. One thing that people sometimes forget that is also very effective by studies, there is a health checklist which is distributed uh, by the Department of Health. Kami, we have the check-up, which is a contactless uh, system. Tinatanong doon uh, two things, no? symptoms and exposure. Uh, I would suggest na you ask your suppliers to, to, to fill it up. Ito po tinatanong, have you traveled? Have mm -hmm. you gone to, uh, have you taken care of a COVID positive patient? Mm -hmm. Have you been exposed to a COVID positive patient? And the following symptoms are asked, are you coughing? Kayo po ba ay uh, sneezing, temperature, uh, body aches? loss of sense of smell. That is also a very powerful tool to screen out. And I would like to ask everyone, sana please answer it naman po honestly. Honestly, Ila. yes. That's the most yes. important part. Doc, doktora, maganda. Best intention talaga. Pero um, for both sides, um, sana sagutin din ng mga guests and sagutin din ng mga suppliers and including yung kinakasal. Right. Doctor, doktora, ang ganda ng input mong yun na maglagay ng health uh, survey uh, because uh, because we're ano we're we're always sanay na yung supplier yung naggagawa or like you know when you go to the bank meron silang papasagutan uh, right now kasi ganun eh di ba uh, especially i think sa banks or ano pero hindi ho namin i mean all these weeks uh, yung mga venue sabi nila may health survey sila at saka yung mga cater, gagawa rin sila. Walang nag-point walang nag out na, oo nga naman, no, the couple, yes. the host, uh, should actually do that also, yeah. di ba? Kasi, <laughs> kasi if anything happens, sila rin pala, mag, they need to contact Kaya trace. Sila. Oo, oo, darating si oh. IATF sa wedding nila. <laughs> yes, oo, okay. <laughs> Tama oh. yun, Miss Sharon, because safety here is ano, on both sides. Yeah. The bride, the groom, and the family have to be safe. The guests yeah. also have to be safe. And thirdly, the suppliers have to be safe. Yes. And that's safe on both sides. Safe not to get sick and safe also not to transmit anything. Yes. So right. It's very important. Yeah. So it's very important for couples, no? If you're 
even if you're having an intimate wedding and you're going to say it's just my family, we've been quarantining together. To be honest, I really think it's also just due respect to the suppliers whom you are hiring. Let's remember that they have families. Let's remember that um, this is their work. So in the same way that we would like for them to be honest with their health declaration form, I think it's also um, just proper as uh, clients that we be honest and transparent also. Um, because really, the situation we're in is that we're all in this together and it works if everybody's honest. It works if we all cooperate. So couples, uh, yeah, and from the Dr. Anna, do not, mag niyo po i, uh, i asa lang po sa coordinator ninyo ang health survey. This is something you can also be on top of and include no, when it comes to planning your your events. What about talk, um, yung mga, uh, you know, PPEs now are being worn by many um, different um, professionals, whether they are That's in the market or not, no? And there are many people selling, also. you can buy it in Lazada already, you can buy it from many different places. Oh, it's a department store. It's being sold now sa, sa mga malls. Yes. So, kailangan ba talaga na naka-PPE po ang mga suppliers pag nag-ingress po sila? Because I know that this is, it's also difficult to bring in it, tama ba? Especially if you're wearing it for a couple of hours and let's say you're not in a well-ventilated area. Medyo mahirap rin, di ba, ang suot and ang PPE, hindi po siya parang yeah. jacket. <laughs> and the, ano bang dapat isuot ng mga tao? Okay? Yeah. Um, ang PPE talaga, first of all, there's a formal definition of what a PPE is. Yes. And um, this is really a material that really repels all, ano, it's similar, very, mas makapalpa sa rainbow, talagang, ano, pati yung pagka-seam niya, hindi siya, Ano, pati yung seaming and, and sewing is an issue sa PPEs. So, ito yung talagang ginagamit ng mga doktor. Ngayon, of course, it, uh, alam mo naman, um, it being, kailangan naman din kumita. So, lots of people are using PPEs. Kuno. But yeah. um, sometimes the material, there's what we call hospital grade material. Right. Yeah. Most of the stuff being sold in department stores are more like jumpsuits. Okay? Right. Jumpsuits siya talaga. And dinalagay lang na PPE, pero there's really a certification talaga and hospital grade. So wala naman masama to arrive in a jumpsuit. But, mm-hmm. um, which is also good, or what, um, sometimes sometimes people call them isolation gowns, like raincoats. Mm-hmm. Kasi mm-hmm. they can protect naman your clothes from anything that's happening there, and pwede mo na lang siyang hubarin before you go home, or before you enter your home, hubarin mo yung PPE, or, um, isolation gown or protective uh, clothing na suot mo and then uh, change into um, your home clothes, wash your hands and then you can enter your home. So it's okay naman to to wear like you, it's okay to wear something on top of your regular clothes but it's more actually to protect ito lang ay, if you're wearing a PPE, it's to protect yourself it's not really to the protect the inside. other okay, okay, okay yeah. Yes, because doctors wear PPE not to protect the patients, but to right. protect them from the patients. Yeah. So yes. when, when when the supplier wears a PPE, it's not to protect the client. The, the groom. It's actually to protect the supplier from anything that might be happening in that house. So dapat oh, pala. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so the bride and groom are scared. Down over your um, uniform. Ganoon. So not necessary or uh, uh, hindi required or hindi kailangan. Let's say, pag nag, when uh, the caterer set up the table or the florist, hindi kailangan. Uh-huh. Medically, there are two things yeah. that we're talking about here, Mona. There's the medical necessity and yeah. then there's the psychological necessity. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi, the person should really wear medical grade PPE ay yung mga doctor. And siguro, the, the janitors and cleaning, kasi yung cleaning talaga ng OR, ganon, cleaning right. ng ER. Yeah. So, okay. talaga yung madumi talaga yung ano, talaga the, the virus will be blasting you there, okay? So, talagang okay. PPE talaga ang kailangan mo. Ngayon, um, I don't think naman that the venue is going to be that dirty at wala naman siguro tons of COVID. But, so, medically, hindi naman siya talaga kailangan. 
Right. Pero, there's such a thing as psychological. Magandang tingnan yung dumating kayo naka-PPE. Eh. Okay. Parang, wow, talagang PPE. And that's why um department stores yeah. sell that. Okay, but and it's not, PPE, PPE. it's not the PPE, it's not the PPE, okay? It's just like this outfit. It's water resistant. <laughs> yes, yeah, na paano lang. Pag so, natapunan uh, ako ng tubig, hindi ako mabasa. Pero kung meron hong madada pa sa setup at meron hong masasaktan, wag naman ho. Yeah. Okay? Uh-huh. But if you want to be clients, wala naman din masama. Yeah. I guess there's but that again, part. If you're wearing a PPE, it doesn't make you any more or less safer yeah. to the client. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. So, okay. Okay. Yan yung na dumihan yung damit mo sa loob. Yeah. That's good to clear up. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, kasi ako, Ron, but ang im- ako rin naman yung supplier. Huwag mo na awain. Bumili ka na lang sa department store. Tapos, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Kung yun talaga ang demands nila. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yung medically na hindi siya and it's yeah. actually an added layer of protection naman for the yeah, supplier. Yeah, kasi say. pag uwi mo, hukurin mo siya. And then, at least, kung ano man yung natumalsik sa'yo doon, do sa PPE. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. So Rona ako uh, kasi 'di ba a- ako ha sometimes I have this misconception na okay, safe 'yan kasi naka-PPE siya. Right. <laughs> 'Di ba? But it's the other way around. It's really the supplier's protection. So yeah. okay, just okay lang if the couples or kung hindi man couple, any any uh, anybody who would be hosting an event Yeah. And you'd like your suppliers to come in a PPE or you would supply the PPEs of your suppliers kayo magpo-provide. Okay lang yon if that's something you really want. But as Doctora pointed out, para clear tayong lahat, it's really more for their protection yes. than for ours na yung, yung tayo na nag-host yes. ng event. So, Um, but yeah, I, I agree, doctor. No, if it's if it's going to provide that psychological comfort, yeah. na <laughs> safe kami, by all means, go mag PPE Uh-oh. lahat, de ba? Yeah, At wala na mga violent reaction. <laughs> I've heard of people nga doing this as suppliers. Na if it's gonna help me get the job, I'm just gonna wear it. <laughs> so if you're a supplier. Diba? Oh, if you're a supplier, uh, sige, bumili na rin po kayo para po, ano, sure tayo na mas marami po tayong clients who will be na mapalagay, yun lang. Ba- yes. Mapalagay sila. Okay. So, pero, pero, ano nga, I'd like to just now, Mona and Ms. Sharon, um, kahit naka-PPE yung mga tao, wag pa rin po natin kalimutan, number one, mask, Number two, yes. face shield. And number three po, yung frequent hand washing po. Yes. And um, alcohol. Not social yes. distancing. If someone approaches you wearing a PPE without a mask, sampalin mo. Okay? Pare. Pareho lang yun. Oo. <laughs> diba? The other, the other question, no, uh, which we've also talked about in other broadcasts, Uh, with caterers is because hmm. there were articles that came out na parang buffet is never gonna be back into the new normal. So, um, I think everybody started to scramble because Filipinos were very used to buffet. Buffet is the more true. Yeah, diba? so... Uh, Gusto natin un, uh, walang only, hindi po natatapos ang paglagay ng pagkain sa, pla- sa uh, plato. So, is buffet, um, could they really rule out buffet setup for for people um, planning their events or getting married? Of course, um, whether intimate or slightly bigger than intimate, no? Uh, what is your take, Doctora? Sa akin po, ah, in terms of food, um, doon na may nakita akong bumukas na ng mga buffet restaurants. Hmm. It remains safer to have plated food po. Even sa uh, meron hong naging PP, PNP birthday na nag issue dahil may buffet. So ang advice po namin, pati ho sa mga maliliit lang ho na mga birthdays and inuman and uh, bawal lang inuman by the way, but any <laughs> birthdays and small gatherings, mas maganda na po talaga yung plated food. Kasi po, iyo yun. And the okay. only person who was exposed to that was probably the waiter and uh, yourself. Hindi bawal inuman. So, talaga, it's much safer talaga na plated yung pagkain kasi ikaw lang ang nakaharap doon. Pag naka-buffet, even though you um, you might put a server, di ba, para si server na lang, mm-hmm. um, the fact na iikot doon yung mga tao, 
may added exposure pa yun eh. So it's really, ako, I would suggest plated food. Sari-sarili na lang. And then, pati yung sausawan po, sari-sarili. Um, yung sarili mo, that's yours, and that's it. That's that's much safer. Doc, um, yun, uh, so yung food, yung PPE, okay. Ito very... Uh, <laughs> more, ito. more food, crap you steak. Ayan. Yeah. Doc, ito usong-uso rin ngayon, no? uh, especially yung mga smaller events natin. Nag-rapid testing. Um, yes. How reliable are these tests? And should that be... Should that be part of your checklist also when you're when you're going to have your event and you'll have different suppliers on board? Kami po, ah, and this is from a medical viewpoint po, eh. um, the, the Department of Health and um, all major medical societies po in the Philippines and even internationally po have said that rapid testing is not rely it's not a reliable test. Okay, so basically, magkakaroon po ng situation. Meron pa nga hong, ano eh, meron pa nga hong, uh, article which was published which said it's no better than toss coin or what we call in Filipino na cara y cruz. Okay, so basically, ang nangyayari nga po is there are false positives and false negatives. So ano po, and the, and the wrong result could be as high as 50%. So basically, oh. toss coin na nga. So, ang tanong, what is a false positive? A false positive is when it comes out na positive ka for COVID, but later on, uh, when they do the more reliable test, which is the nasal swabbing, eh negative ka pala. So, mm-hmm. yun yung false positive. Meron din tinatawag na false negative, at ito ang mas nakakatakot kesa sa false positive. Right. Yes. Kasi yung false negative, o oh, pumasok ka na sa venue, o oh, yung iba baka hindi na magmas dahil negative naman eh. Okay? Eh, yung pala, positive ka pala. O, so, paano yeah. yun? So, the rapid testing is really not advised. It can give you the wrong results. And the worst is, um, it can even cause you to to be less... Parang nagpapasok ka pa ng positive. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's the yeah. worst. Parang your life. Yung iba, lumakas pa yung loob. Kasi meron mga opisina, negative right. na lahat. Oh, Kung yes. kumain din ako ano, ng kare-kare, nung birthday, pansit, syempre walang mat, nagkainan, kasi negative naman eh. Next thing yeah. you know, man, nagka-COVID na doon because it's actually a false test. False. Um, I was false just in a viral group with my classmates and um, pinag-usapan nga po is rapid testing fueling the mm-hmm. rise of COVID cases kasi we're making wrong decisions based on a wrong test. Right. So, sa mga, at saka itong rapid test, ano, and any test for COVID, let's say today, napa-rapid test ka, bukas yung wedding, okay, so negative ka nga raw, eh umuwi ka, tapos yeah. kinausap ang manang mo na namamalengke, o oh, yun, yeah. tapos maybe yung driver mo na nag-public transport going to your house, so na-expose ka na to people, no? then positive ka na, no? so maybe two days after, punta ka na sa wedding, dahil negative ka naman, o na nagkalat ka doon, so basically, um, I would not suggest it. It is not advised by any medical facility and unfortunately kumalat po sa yung kumalat po sa Pilipinas. Ayun. So the best sa akin na ah, is really to be cautious. To follow the COVID rules, yung checklist is very very yeah. important and then again masks and um face shield. Yung rapid so, test will give you a full sense of security. Security, yeah. Ayun. So it's better to have the Health declaration form, di ba? Yung, you see yung 14 days. Yes, health declaration, mask, and face shield. Pero again, I'm also a supplier. Ang hirap talagang i-correct yung wrong yeah. impressions po ng mga yes. tao. Yeah. So this is um, why we're doing this. <laughs> and even, eto lang ang nakakatakot, okay? O, sige, pumayag na kayo sa rapid test. Ang nakakatakot is if you enter the house and people will tell you, we're not gonna wear masks kasi negative lang kami. Nako, no, 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 no. yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I guess no. that's no, also no. important as um, if you are I don't care what you're going to test if you're gonna wear a mask. Yes. Yes. If you're hosting a wedding, please be um, considerate of your suppliers, not just because we are paying them the fee does not mean that we can do whatever we like, di ba? Na hindi na po ako magmamask, hindi na po ako social distancing. But 
please uh, remember that um, you know let's also be good clients um, to these people and it goes yeah. both ways yes it goes both ways so the same yung same kapaningan ko iisipin ko na praning din po yung client ay yung suppliers yes, that's true so, oh, oh. treat each other with the same sort of uh, diba do unto others ika nga what you would oh, want oh. them to do unto you that's true oh. <laughs> doctor kasi how can you perform as a supplier at 100% peak level talaga ng creativity mo kung yeah. ninenervous ka kung katabi mo walang mask correct yes, so, so everyone has to be safe mm. and has to feel safe and then after that pag nalampasan na po natin yan yung creativity po natin lahat yan lalabas ng maganda yes Kasi so kung, kung may iniisip ka ba oh my god walang mask yung minister or whatever <laughs> or ano ho, talagang hindi, for example, um, yes. may lumalapit may makeup ka, ikaw naka N95 ka, naka ano, tapos may mga lumalapit sa yung walang mask. Wala. Yes. Oo, yes. so, yes. so that's true. Oo, ako ganyan, so, ako, respect for everybody. Yeah. Oo, oh, ako super high ang level ng kapraningan ko when I'm outside. So ay, para ako may automatic switch na kapag merong in the vicinity na walang mask, uh, lumalayo. <laughs> lumalayo talaga ako. Kasi I feel that even if I, I have my mask on or my face yeah. shield on, parang wala akong kalaban-laban. Kung yeah. in case may COVID siya at humaching siya anytime, yeah. uh, ma-infect ako. So that's really, yun yung automatic reaction ko when there's somebody who doesn't, who's not wearing a mask, di ba? Um, pero yun, uh, yun nga eh, uh, thank you for pointing that out, doctora. Kasi, well, I think it's becoming a it's becoming a trend. Na okay, pa, pa rapid testing tayo. But yes. I, guess, I guess with what you're saying is, uh, ang formula talaga to protect yourself is pa ulit pa ulit ulit na no, nakakasawang pakinggan. <laughs> Even last night I was watching the news. Uh, there was a Senate inquiry in the in the U.S. No, yung mga hmm. ang kanila mga health experts sila Dr. Fauci tinatanong what's the best way to go about it and pa ulit ulit. Ang CDC, si Dr. Fauci, um, and all these medical experts, they're saying um, it's to proper hygiene, frequently um, wash your hands with soap and water. If that's not possible, maga alcohol you wear a mask, and you do physical distancing. So walang, <laughs> walang ano, rocket science actually yung pagpoprotect mo sa sarili mo from COVID. It's, it goes down to the basic. Um, not even once did they mention na kailangan mag-rapid test, kailangan magsuot ng ganito, yeah. ganyan. They're just saying, wear a mask, wash your hands frequently, and do physical distancing. Do not go to mass gatherings. Yun nga inanala, walang, walang mass gatherings. Yeah. Um, uh, right now we're still in GCQ. Hindi hindi na hindi na upgrade ang ating situation. <laughs> Pero doctora, if and when, no, um, uh, kunyari magiging MGCQ, uh, I think they will add right now 10 ata in a wedding. Uh, ano pa ang safe number? Ano ba ang mako-consider mong mass gathering? Uh kasi sabi nila pwede na daw mag live events kapag MGCQ na. Uh, from a medical standpoint, ano po ang take nyo dyan sa live events? Because live events would actually affect my line of work, which is um, mm. exhibitions, diba? bridal fairs. What can you say about that, Doctor, from a medical perspective? Hello, Doctor? Parang nakatayo. Yes, parang naghang yata ng konti si Doctor. But uh -oh. we can do it for her because that's, yes, really, uh -oh. that's a really important um, thing to consider, no? Na, ako, for me, my question would be, um, if we, do we count even the number of people, um, like the suppliers? Because let's say 20, oh, ika count mo, syempre counted dun yung photographer mo, ba? Counted dun yung videographer mo, counted dun yung, or I guess lalo pag plated counted dun yung waiter. So you have to, yes. at the whole the whole time, you have to consider um, how many people are in the room at one, you know, at any given moment. You always have to make sure and to follow um, 
kung ano yung number na yun. And if you have other questions um, that you want to ask Dr. Anna as we wait for her to come back, please type them and send it to us. I still have a couple of questions myself because uh -huh. people are asking things like, um, is it safer to do my wedding at a an outdoor setting? Diba? Because yes, a lot so, uh, of people are saying na pag poor ventilation, parang wag ka na pumasok doon. So does that mean um, outdoor na yung wedding natin forever? Napakahirap naman din po sa Pilipinas given our um, very unpredictable weather conditions. Yes, oo. So, uh, oo. Kasi yun din na sinasabi nila, Rona, last night the, that, um, yun ay, pinapanood ko na inquiry dun sa medical experts, they kept on saying na uh, outdoor is always safer. Right. A well-ventilated place uh, should be yung default uh, choice mo palagi. Yes. So, yun, tayo, di ba? Uh, Pag-ula na. Rainy, rainy season na. So, ano yung, ano yun for the, for the venues? Ano ang effect nun? Should they um, pivot also and make sure na may option si client to, to have the windows open? Yeah. Ah, na hindi mag aircon The other thing we do, di ba, kasi is may backup. We'll have the garden set up, but just in case it rains, di ba, yes. we, have, we have an indoor. So, uh, medyo matrabaho rin yan, no? On the end of um, whether you're the venue, the supplier, or all of that. Um, I think those are things that uh, I think if I was planning a wedding, it would be something I would still keep on asking. And uh, we're, we've also been noticing um, that uh, there are more couples who are moving up their weddings. So next yeah. week, oh. uh, we're going to be talking a little bit more about that. no? Because parang we're, um, many of us are slowly realizing that, uh, well, whether MGCQ or GCQ, unang-una, ikaw pa rin yung gusto kong pakasalan. And I would like my forever to start already. So, uh, if you have um, any questions for that, also, you can let us know and send it to us so that we can um, prepare and ask our experts if you are getting married or if you've decided to move up your wedding. Um, that's something that we can definitely um, answer. Dr. Anna is almost back. Yeah, and I'm so excited yeah. to have her. So, I just, we're, we're just waiting for her connection to um, improve. But oh, there's I'm not much inside. Uh oh, ang hirap no na internet. I don't know if you've been experiencing that. I think for the last three days, it's been very flaky, no? Oh. I don't know if it's because everyone's uh, online now. Nag start ng school for some. That's so, right. So, uh, I guess, di ba, my influx of uh, <laughs> internet users. So it's it's yeah. been quite unstable the the past uh, for me for the past three days. And that's also, also important in your wedding now because there are more people live streaming your wedding. So, oh. um, the ba, tip yan sa atin nung, uh, was it, I think two weeks ago, no? I think it was by Treehouse Story where they said that a good internet connection is very, very important if you're live streaming your wedding. I have a friend yes. who, um, their, his relatives kasi are abroad. So, parang, they have decided na it's just too hard to to wait for them to clear up all the travel things and, and all yes, of that. So, uh, Parang, okay, let's just push through with the wedding. Um, let's let's move it up because anyway, hindi din po kayo makakapunta. So live streaming your wedding. We have a couple of articles up about it on inspirations.ph. Yes, uh, so, how, to do, how to do a Zoom wedding. Um and uh, hosting is actually very important, which is what Ms. Sharon and I are doing today. <laughs> oh, kasi I will moderate. These are very, very important things for you to have at your wedding. Um, oh, and especially if it's, ano, uh, Franz, if it's a blended event. Yeah. Kasi you need someone who will um, tie in the virtual and the live uh, activity. Yes. Um, and Shepre, right now, in GCQ, if there's just 10 of you in one place, diba? Parang hirap kung yeah. ikaw pa. Ikaw pa lahat. Ikaw na yung bright or the group. Yeah, yeah. And you're attending to this thing. So, uh, yeah, in the last few weeks, we saw that uh, yung essential sa weddings uh, pre-COVID days are still the essential suppliers that you would need uh, during in a pandemic wedding. Yeah. Uh, ang lumiit lang dyan is uh, your guest list. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and then mas creative of course yung execution mo ng ng decors mo, ng styling mo for your wedding. Yeah. Uh, sure sa sa damit na dagdagan ng ano, fabulous mask. looking masks. Oh, we have <laughs> now learned it's better if my surgical mask underneath. Yes, Kasi so hindi naman uh, pwedeng gordahan ng ano no, ang surgical, ang uh, surgical mask or kung magpagawa ka with a, with a filter. Uh, yes, yung so uh, for a filter for your Lace or beaded face mask. Yes, so oh, kasi um, kung hindi surgical mask, according to doctora earlier, uh, dapat two layers yung two layers, ordina- yeah. ordinary mask mo to to be protected, no? and mm-hmm. also to protect kusini ka usab mo. And it's a must. Uh, recap lang of what doctora was saying. Um, it's a must that mag mask, uh, physical distancing. Uh, face shield kung meron uh, uh, according to doctor wearing of PPE if 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 it uh, gives you uh, confidence to do mind. your work yes. peace of mind go ahead and wear the PPE but it should be very clear that it is for the protection of the one wearing the PPE yes. uh, yung nakasuot ng PPE para sa sarili niyang protection yon. So I guess ah. kung supplier ka, no, it, it would actually make a lot of sense for you to wear it uh, because you might be uh, always out and visiting different venues, seeing different people. So you should protect yourself, hindi ba? Kasi compared yes. to say, maybe a client that they're mostly just at home, grocery, home, grocery. For people who work um, and go to see different people every day, Diba? Yes. You should probably really invest in making sure that you are protected sa bawat labas mo. <laughs> okay. And then, um, ang sabi rin ni Doktora kanina, from a medical standpoint, they do not recommend rapid testing because uh, halos 50% yung uh, pwedeng maging uh, hindi accurate yung result. no So, yeah. 50% accurate, 50% ano. Kaya sabi niya nga, it's parang, it's a toss coin method. Uh, it can give you a false positive, uh, which is okay lang kasi it's a subject ka to the swab testing. And if you come out negative, then you're negative. Pero ang mas nakakatakot, it's a false negative because all of us have a false sense of security. So, Si doctor is all is once again binalik niya tayo sa basics no mm-hmm. it's really one physical distancing hygiene uh regular hand washing with soap kung walang hand soap at water alcohol 70% alcohol and then the wearing of the face mask so uh again uh i guess if it gives you peace of mind no pero yun nga eh it, it, it's not reliable yeah it's not okay. reliable so ang ano pa rin is uh face mask yes. <laughs> face shield diba o dapat gawin ng isang layer face shield okay. uh doctor is back here so let's see if her connection is a bit better yeah. doc are you here with us na miss namin tayo pero kung tinest niyo po kami very good po ang um ang uh, aming retention yes very good ang recap ni Miss Sharon ng mga points uh that the Clara answered with us of course oo uh-huh. um si Doctor is asking possible ba ron na daw na phone call kasi nga medyo patchy ang ano ang internet oh, connection yun call um i might not be able to um plug her in to the phone call but i think what we can do though is uh if there are any more questions no we can um ask dr anna to answer them after this live stream and maybe we can come out with a story on oh, Instagram. i don't know can i can i give her a call rons uh para yeah. lang. Oh, i'll try to call her uh Yes, and we can put her on loudspeaker so that we can uh, talk a little bit more uh, before we do end this broadcast. We do have a, still a couple of minutes left. So, um, padala nyo pa rin sa amin yung mga tanong nyo. Kasi nga, ako nga may tanong pa rin ako. And of course, um, next week, uh, oh. we're going to be talking about 
um, moving up your wedding uh, and what you need uh, if you are going to move up your wedding uh, and decide to do a small wedding now uh, instead of doing your wedding in 2021. So, yes, Ms. Sharon, right. you have Doc. Yeah, naka-speaker naka phone na lang tayo kay Doc. Talagang yeah. she cannot connect anymore. Hi, Doc. Doc? Yeah. Ayan, naririnig mo. I'm willing to answer questions, Ms. Sharon and Ms. Rona. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Oo. We run down namin, Doc Tora, yung things that we learned from you that, you know, basic, uh, basically it boils down to really wearing of mask, frequent hand washing, uh, alcohol kung walang soap and water, Kung may face shield, mag face shield and higit sa lahat, physical distancing. So, uh, we also um, repeated what you said that uh, from a medical point of view, uh, the rapid testing are not really reliable. It might give you a false sense of security because pwedeng up to 50% na hindi yes, accurate. Yeah, 50% hindi siya reliable, unfortunately. So no, there. So what about in If you were to choose between indoor or outdoor wedding, what would you recommend na Yes, that's my and question. I will why. Ay, ako, so, Doc, ano, outdoor talaga, kasi sobrang, ano nga ako eh, germophobe ako, <laughs> tsaka prani. <laughs> yes, um, ako doon, sama ka doon ni Sharon, because it is better to choose an outdoor setting na yun. Um, for your wedding and including your reception kasi the keywords right now kasi nga ang ano ngayon is airborne na ang virus nasa hangin okay so if you were to choose you would need a place with good ventilation or the frequent exchange for ng air and um, outdoors is best kasi para kang umiihi sa dagat malaki ng dagat hindi na makahanap yung ihi mo and that's the same issue with um with COVID um, if you, if something, God forbid, would happen outdoors na may, merong may COVID na hindi natin alam, ano, of course, um, sa laki din naman ng garden, or sa laki ng hangin, the same principle, the chances of the COVID getting to anyone are much less than in a enclosed environment. Ang pinaka nakakatakot talaga ngayon, yung environment na totally aircon and then totally closed. Yan talaga is not. Okay. And then for so many so, artists, the that, that, you feel free exchange of air. Yeah. If you would need to be indoors, if you would need to have an air con, then I would suggest leaving a door and an air, and a window open para may taluyan pa rin yung hang. Okay. In a place that completely closed. So, Doc, pa-clarify naman, you said airborne. Uh, kasi baka... Oo. Oh, uh, hindi ba nakakatakot yun? Pag lumabas ako, let's say, uh, I will bring out, take out the garbage. Hindi ba siya parang si Herb? <laughs> diba? Sabi, <laughs> Sharon, parang yan nga, kung may imihin sa dagat, hindi naman naabot sa iyo talaga yun eh, okay? okay. Same as kung ano, may umubuto sa kabilang bahay, it will not float as a group to wipe your house. Hindi mangyayari yun. Oh, okay, it will be dispersed. Yon, and actually, the word is it will be dispersed in air. Okay. So, oh, I have to clarify. Oh. Maganda talaga yung may ventilation, free exchange of air. Those are the key words right now. All right. I have to clarify that, Doc, kasi syempre, di ba, wag sinabi mong air, bro, hala, baka matakot ng mga tao na, wag na, cancel na ang events. Wag na. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep your life has to go on. A wedding is one of the key events in someone's life. It can give you great comfort during this difficult time. And let's not discount mental health, ha? Kasi, Ms. Sharon, sa amin, wala pang namatay ng COVID, pero meron ng dalawang nagbigse. So, if you ask me what is more deadly, I respect mental health also. And being with another person who wants to spend their whole life with you and will protect you talaga, it's during this time, talaga, kailangan na natin lang kakapitan, Okay. So a wedding can really give you that. Oh. And at least you will be with your spouse and your partner for life and you're committed to both both of uh, both families are committed to each other. It's a malaking baga yun. Manikas malaking baga yun. Oh. And I also believe that you should celebrate because it's your wedding, it's a happy time in your life. But you should celebrate it yes. Doc, okay. any final and then we all need something na pang natin sa mga panahon na ito. 
Yes. So before we before we finally let you go, um, I just I remembered when we were talking on the phone. Na meron kang sinagest eh, napagandang suggestion. Kasi yung yung sabi mo na like if you'll have a reception in your house and you wanna make sure, um, na talagang safe ka, no? You you suggested na yung yung mga mag-attend sabay sabay mag quarantine, especially if they're they're living naman in one household. Eto lang na um two, two points that I uh, that I picked up from your question, Miss Sharon. The first is where should you have the wedding? Should it be in your house or should it be outside of your house, like a wedding venue? Unfortunately, sa Metro Manila hindi pa talaga pwede yung wedding venues, you know? Um, there are because there are really strict restrictions. Ako, if you would ask me, kung pwede lang sa gobyerno, I'd rather have it outside. Para walang taong papasok sa... Kasi yung bahay natin sa grabe yan eh. Para wala talaga ng papasok sa bahay nyo. Except yourself. And then, all of you meet in a mutual venue. Pwede nyo ipalinis. So, I mean, with the consent of the venue, ano, palinis yung mga buti maigi, lahat kayo nandoon. And uh, safe naman, that, that is relatively safe. And with, of course, with respect to sa mga kapitbahay mo na mga wedding venues, ano? Ngayon, if you choose na talagang to have it in your house, and some people do, um, I would suggest that the guests, just for, ano, for added safety, talagang kung pwede lang, since magkakamaganak din naman kayo, you stay indoors for 10 days. Para may, meron kayong sense of safety din na kumain together. But again, yung quarantining together is, hindi imposible pa rin yun, Ms. Sharon, to be totally quarantined kasi merong mamamaneke sa bahay nyo. And then, of course, kailangan nyo, yung may personal din, somebody will go to work, ganon, talagang hindi natin ma-avoid sa yun. But kung pwede lang, kung pwede lang, talaga, if you guys can quarantine yourself for 10 days, that would be better. But again, you also have suppliers. So, again, mutual respect talaga. You can't tell the supplier, oh, we quarantine ourselves for 10 days so we can walk around without masks naman. But if you could do that, that would be good. <laughs> Quarantine yourself for 10 days. Um, because that would put an added layer of safety, especially for the bride and the groom's family. And then, again, mask pa rin and face shield. But, sayang talaga, I, I do believe that the wedding is really something that can give both families a lot of happiness, which we all need during this time. It can also um, provide um, much needed na hanap buhay for the suppliers. And of course, I think talagang walang, we can't put a value talaga on happiness. Yun lang. Health and happiness. We can be happy, but following the COVID rules, we can also all be safe and healthy. Ayun Ay, naman ang gusto natin, di ba? Ang lahat. Yes. Yeah, so, o oh, yan yung best win-win situation at this point in time that we should aspire for. Oo. At saka, ano mo, sa wedding styling, ha? Kasi dati, di ba, there were 600 deaths and ano, ang mahal-mahal ng wedding styling. Ngayon, na this an intimate wedding. Ang advice ko sa mga tao, gawin yung elegant. Yes, oo. I mean... Gawin yung elegant. It can be small but elegant. Hindi naman nawawala eh. Hindi nawawala. As long as your husband is there, your parents are with you, either physically or on Zoom, the rest of your friends, Pagpapatanghan mo sila ng ano, ulam, all 100 of them, they can watch you on Zoom. And you guys can have a good time. It's, it's really to make the decision and then to be open about the changes. If That's there has right. to be changes, if you're open and you go with the flow, you can have a lot of fun. And it can be just as meaningful as a big win. Well said, Doctora. Doctora, if... Um, uh, we're, I don't know, we're, we have a few minutes left. Um, if they want to, okay, first, they want to contact you for event styling needs. O, yung wedding business mo muna, i-promote natin. Saan kanila um, pwede yes. i-contact? Um, we have a Facebook. It's called Kay Flowers Manila. We are one of the largest wholesalers sa Pilipinas. And then, we do sell individual flowers as gifts. And it's hashtag to me. It's called Anna York Flowers. So, thanks, thanks Sharon, for mentioning that. We have two, K Flowers Manila and Anna, that's the wholesale, and Anna York Flowers that is for sale. Yan, oo. Oh, ako namimili ako sa Anna York Flowers. Open pa ba? Oh, oh, open pa ba ang shop mo, yung sa may Cubao? Ay, naku, unfortunately, naka-close yan due to uh, COVID restrictions also. Ah, okay. So, diretso na lang doon sa Facebook page mo. Pero, ano, online mo. naman tayo ngayon. Eh. So, All right. I mean, we have a strong online assessment. 
Okay. Um, and doktora, eh, doon naman sa mga ano, yung they would like to get medical advice every so often, please invite mo sila sa ano, because you, you do yes. a lot of these talks, di ba, online, live streaming? Oh, yes, we do. Um, it's called um, Dr. Anna York Bondo. The hashtag is Libre Consulta. And we do give free medical advice to persons, but we we are um, opening up a strong uh, corporate uh, advisory we now uh, are advising corporations events and other businesses about the safety kasi mahirap na rin mati you know darating talaga si IAP at yung sa factory mo ni Sharon pag oh. hindi ka mahinga <laughs> so um, we do advise corporate clients also on a COVID safety so yun it's oh. from Dr. Anna York Mondo I'm really happy to be part of Beans and Motives yes so, oh Yes, Doctor, we will. I know we will be inviting you again. Uh, every so often, no, if para lang marimay ng ating couples and suppliers. Pero napagaganda nung uh, sabi mo, meron ka ng consulting for corporation, uh, yung corporate consulting. Yes. Uh -huh. So hindi lang for soon to weds and regular people out there, but uh, to fellow suppliers. Especially yung mga medyo malalaki, may mga manpower kayo, uh, at meron kayong ongoing operations pa rin. Please do get in touch with Dr. Anna Bondok. Uh, yes. Follow niyo po ang kanyang Facebook page uh, para po ano tayo, um, safe ika nga sa lahat ng ginagawa natin. Yes. Thanks, Ms. Sharon. Thanks, Ms. Rona. Sa lahat po na ikakasal, tuloy ang kasal. Yes, thank, thank you so much. Salamat. Thank you so much. Ingat din. Ingat. God bless. Stay safe. Okay, thank you, Ren. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you. So that was Miss uh, uh, Dr. Anna York. Dr. Anna York. Bondo. Oh, oh. Yes. So much. Oh, oh. Rons, baka, baka hindi mo ano... Now, nakoconnect mo na siguro yung Anna York Flowers. That's hers. And yes. yan yung mga Colombian roses na duma yung magaganda. She's the one shipping it here sa atin. So, she's yeah. a wholesaler. Um, and yun nga, she has her own event styling business. But really, that's just a creative outlet for her. Her main line is really yung medical field. And ang dami ang... May mga... Alam mo yun, yung may mga natutunan tayo na it's basic but we need to be reminded yeah. about it. And ang ganda kasi, it is now coming from a medical practitioner. Yeah. Okay. So alam na natin yun if you are really on the right track or there are things that we, for for fellow wedding suppliers, no, sa mga tao na nasa wedding industry, uh, yun, yung mga tamang practices natin, tuloy lang natin. If there are things that we need to modify, based on the inputs that we got from our expert this morning. Uh, may time po tayo to, to do some adjustments. So, yes. So next week, um, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be talking about moving up your wedding. Um, and ano ang kailangan mo? Apart from your marriage license, yes, so what well. kailangan mong atupagin now that you uh, have decided, let's do it, let's get married, let's uh -oh. turn around our 2020, siguro, no? Let's, uh, let's uh, have a good thing, like, you know, let's yes, remember so well. uh, positively. So we're going to do that next week. You can send us your questions again uh, over at inspirations.ph Facebook page or here at the Themes and Motives Facebook page. Uh, and you can still send this live stream, of course, to your fiancé kung hindi siya nanood pa. Or if you have friends who are getting married uh, and you know that they are uh, on a running level of 11 on a scale of 1 to 10, <laughs> I hope this will be helpful for them. You're the maid of honor and you want to help them. Uh, these medical facts from Dr. Anna, uh, I think, are, you know, really helpful um, just to... Uh, ease uh, our mind, or baka nga yung parents nyo, di ba? Uh, to yes. ease their mind as we plan um, your wedding. Yes. So that's and it for me. any Happy milestone day. event in your life, ha? yung mga yes. anniversaries, uh, yes. 60th birthday, 80th yes. birthday, uh, applicable lahat ng natutunan natin this morning. Absolutely. Ako, Rona, before I say goodbye, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank 
all the suppliers that joined Love Wins hashtag Tuluyang Kasal yes. online bridal fair which ended yesterday, July 16 to July 31. Salamat po sa lahat ng sumali at nag-support and for the great packages na na-enjoy ng mga soon to weds na nag-book. And I'd also like to announce that uh, the bridal marketplace uh, is um, happening again. Uh, umpisa na po tayo sa ating regional caravan. So next stop, will be with our friends from Laguna this August. Yeah. And uh, in September, we will have, uh, I think, uh, Bulacan yeah. in Dumaguete City. Okay, so you just go to themesandmotives.com and enter the bridal marketplace. And, and sa mga naghihintay na beaten, uh, because it's been August Ilanas, eight months no? since you've seen us do um, our on-ground events. Hindi pa po kami, <laughs> hindi pa po kami mag on-ground. But I am happy to announce that Wedding Expo Philippines is happening online. So Wedding wow. Expo Philippines online, September 16 to 30. So kami po yung, babalik po ang The Bridal Marketplace sa Metro Manila, September 16 to 30. Wedding Expo Philippines online. So please do mark your calendars for that. For suppliers who would like to inquire or get more information about Wedding Expo Philippines online, you may call 0917-522-0707 or send us a message here in our Facebook page so that we can answer your inquiry. Mm -hmm. All right. So thank you again for joining us this Saturday and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Have a great month. Stay safe and God bless and protect us all. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.